Hello, YouTube. Yes, we level seven. Back here with another video. Um, this is actually a really recommended video. I need to do it. Um, this is gonna be top five games of the year. Yes. I mean, why would I do a video just of my top, just of my number one game? That'd be kind of boring. <laughs> but definitely top five. Um, put these in order. Eh, I already know what it is. Okay, there we go. Um, I have my top five down here, and then I have my honorable mentions over here. Just games that I really feel that should be, whatever, talked about, because, <laughs> believe me, they're really underrated. But I also have a really underrated game in my top five, but I'll get to that later. Um, first up, I'm going to go in, not in order, but these these are in order. They're just five, four, three, two, one. I'm not going to go, yeah. But um, number five pick is... Goldeneye, yes. Um, great reboot, great remake. Probably one of the biggest cash-ins of this generation, probably. Of any generation. I mean, it's a remake of Goldeneye. I mean, you can easily pop in your Goldeneye and your N64 right now and play it, and it'll be fine, it'll be fun. Game holds up to, like, today, today's standards. Well, not really today's standards, but it still holds up. But Eurocom did it awesome job with this game. Seriously, like, oh, it has great online, great story mode. It's challenging in the story mode. I'm, right now, I'm, I'm doing Agent, right now, which is, it, it's hard. You know, uh, Double Agent probably is a little harder. Uh, operative was easy, but it, some parts were annoying in it, but they kind of balance it out in the Operative mode, but it's a fun game. You should go pick it up. It's probably cheap at Target for the holiday sales, but it's definitely worth your money. It's gold nine. So much fun. Um, put that over there. Uh, number four pick. This game is seriously. Yeah, number four pick. Um, this most underrated, misunderstood game of this generation. Whether you hate it, like it, it's so much controversy over the game. It's just ridiculous. Um, it is probably the most most controversial game of this generation, and that is Metroid Other M. Yes. Um. Just, it's just really ridiculous how they treat, how they, like, say, um, Team Ninja ruined Samus' character. IGN made, like, three or four articles about the game saying it sucks, it sucks. They actually did, I don't know if they actually said it sucks, but they just kept saying, like, they ruined Samus' character and, like, all that crap, and they gave it an 8.5, which is a great score, by the way. I give it a 9, in my opinion, because of how awesome the ending is, but, spoilers alert, spoiler alert, um, at the end of the game, when actually you're beating, at the end of the game where you're running down, and there's, a, you know, the clock, you, you can't have a Metroid game without having a timer. You know, you can't have, you know, where she's running, this place is going to self-destruct and all that shit, and, and she's running down with Adam's helmet, because she can't leave it behind, because she likes Adam, she loves him. She, It's a father figure for her, that's what pretty much Adam is, it's a father figure, and... Yeah, I love that entire ending changed the game for me. And I was like, this is a game is a nine. It's a nine. No more than that, no less than that. It's a nine. But anyways, uh it's a great action game overall. It gets doesn't stand on its own, obviously, because there's other there's other games following it. Super Metroid. Obviously Metroid, Super Metroid, and then Metroid Fusion, which I haven't played actually. I feel kinda of bad. Because there's a lot of things in this game I didn't get at first. Because I was like, where's that guy from? Where's that boss from? Where the hell? I didn't know, you know. Obviously, if you played Super Metroid, you would know, because that game's awesome. I have it, but there's a, this, there are just a lot of game, you know, a lot of things in the game I didn't get at first because I didn't play, I haven't played Super, I, didn't, I haven't played uh, Metroid Fusion. That's for the Game Boy Advance. I should actually get that, but, um, but this, anyways, I'm going off somewhere. I'm going off topic, but this game's awesome. Go pick it up. It's worth your time. Um, yeah, I should put it over here. <sighs> okay. Number uh, three here. This game is not really underrated, I would say, but it's not. It's getting a lot of love, I guess, but it should because it's Kirby's Epic Yarn. This game is magical. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't know how much I need to say about it. That's already been 74 by people that just love Kirby. Um, it's about time Kirby had a game on a home console since the 64. Crystal Shards, I think it was. Um, obviously, I've been playing uh, Superstar Ultra for the DS, and then there is Squeak Squad on the DS. 
Canvas Curse and all that other stuff, but this game is amazing. It's so original. The level design is brilliant. So many great ideas. Just, oh, good feel. The same people who did uh, Warland Shake It. So, so you're expecting a lot from them. So, yeah, awesome game. Ooh. But I don't love it as much as I love this game coming up here and the next game. But Donkey Kong Country Returns, yes. This game is just brilliant in every way. The platforming is just, oh, it's on par with another game here that I have down here, which I'm not going to say, but it's on par with that game in terms of quality and low design. There's so much depth in this game, it's just ridiculous. Um, I just can't express how amazing it is because, you know, Retro did an amazing job. They also did the Metroid Prime, you know, games. Um, I hope they make a sequel to this. If they don't make a sequel on Wii, which I suppose, I mean, they would have to. I mean, if they don't, they would have to make it on the 3DS. Vice versa, kind of like with New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Or New, New Super Mario Bros. Bros. DS. And then they made the sequel on the, on the Wii. But I have a high hopes for this being on the Wii. They would have to. I mean, it would work on the 3DS because, because of the depth and all that stuff. That would work. But the 3D would be awesome on it. But without the 3D, who cares? This game is awesome. Go pick it up. I'm guessing every Donkey Kong Country fan has picked it up already. But yes, my number one pick is... Um, drum roll. Do, do, do. <laughs> no, uh, no. This game doesn't need no doesn't doesn't need any introduction at all. It doesn't even need to be talked about it actually. But Galaxy Two, yes. I'm not gonna actually gonna talk about this that long because it doesn't need to be talked about. It's Mario Galaxy Two. It's great. It's fun. It's a masterpiece. Great music. Challenging. Yoshi's awesome in it. It's great. It's all good. I'm still stuck on Grandmaster Galaxy. Um. I don't think I'll ever beat it. I died about a hundred times. Still haven't beat it. I don't think I ever will. So, kind of like with the Water Temple on Ocarina of Time, you know, those, you'll you'll just never beat it. It's just if you have, congratulations. <laughs> but I have four other games from my honorable mentions. Um, when I go out through them here, Ooh, do it fast. Okay. Um, Red Steel Two, awesome game. Great use of the motion. Love it. It's fun. Lots of different types of genres in the game, like science fiction, western, ninja, action, all just all types of stuff. It's great. It's fun. Go pick it up. I think it came around like the beginning. I think it came around like January, February, but yeah, it's great. I think this game. I it did come out in 2010. I think yeah, it did come out this year. Um, at first I thought it came out in 2009 because it says. It says 2009 on the disc, but no, it, it, it it's a 2010 game. Because I read it on forums on, they it, they have it on their list, so I'm going with it because it's a great game. No More Heroes 2. Great game. Weird weird game, actually. <laughs> Very Japanese. It's I actually like it better than the original. The original is good, but it had some problems. Some frame rate issues, but this game's fixed. They fixed, they fixed a lot of stuff in it, so... I haven't got far in it yet, because it's really hard, I don't know, the bosses are really weird, I don't know, I, I'll have to try it. So many games to play, so I'm just kind of like, ah. But, yeah, it's great. Uh, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, awesome game. I actually like it, as a terms of a fight, as terms of, you know, in a fighting game, I actually like it better than Brawl. <gasps> oh, yeah, no, shocker, right? Well, maybe because of Brawl, like, I don't know, the hype killed it for me. Great game though, I love Brawl a lot, but it's just like, I'd rather play this, because it's classic 2 e you know, Capcom fighting, you know, the versus games and all that stuff. Just like Marvel versus Capcom and all that. Yeah, great game. Fun as hell. Um, oh, it is what it is, it's a fighting game, it's great. I haven't unlocked all the characters yet, but, um, next game, Sin of Punishment 2, or yeah, it starts next year, whatever. I haven't played the first one yet. I still don't have it on my virtual console, but this game is fun, though. Classic arcade shooter. Really fun. Fucking hard. Uh, I'm still stuck on the boss. The first boss. I was stuck, like, you know, right in the beginning of the game because I like, didn't know what to do. I didn't... But yeah, the game the gameplay is great. It's, it's great. Uh, I don't know what to say about it. Um, a lot of people really haven't been talking about this, but yeah, it's great. I don't know. It's really cheap. It's... I don't know. It's hard. It's amazing. 
go pick it up, seriously. Like, if you love classic ar arcade shooters, hard games, it's amazing. Go pick it up. Um, and that's it for my top five games and my honorable mentions. Um, I'll be back. <coughs> uh, excuse me, uh, I need to thirsty a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I'll be back with my gameplay videos of Donkey Kong and Kirby and Goldeneye. Um, I just, I just like to mix it up a little bit. I don't, I don't like to keep doing the same thing over and over again because it gets kind of stale. I don't know, it's just the way I am, I guess. Um, I guess my first walkthrough will be in a couple months. I don't know, not a couple months, but if I ever do a walkthrough, it'll probably be Goldeneye. I don't know, I just seem like that'll be easier introduction of my walkthroughs. I don't know. I just like doing little short gameplay videos. I don't like to do, like, 50-part gameplay videos. That's, like, uh, too tiresome. I get too tired of that shit, um, but I'll be back. Stay tuned. Later, guys. Take it easy. Bye.